What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitchy Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. You'll never regret it. Join Ninja Nation, and without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with James Caprillion, who had four strikeouts in five innings, thanks to his slider. And I love this White Castle special. Remember, a White Castle special in Ninja Lingo is king on three nasty sliders. Tristan McKenzie had four strikeouts in five and two-thirds innings, giving up only one run, and had these angry curveballs. Look at his sword he gets. And then I overlaid his fastball and curveball, and you can see why he gets so many bad swings on that curveball. His elevated fastball pairs really well with that curveball. Tristan McKenzie's nickname is Sticks, and for good reason. I paired Sticks' lower half with Spencer Strider, Quadzilla's lower half. Proof that filthy pitching comes in all shapes and sizes. I'm fairly sure they both wear the same pants size. Madison Bumgarner had 9 Ks in 8 innings thanks to these wicked cutters. Joe Ryan had 7 strikeouts in 5 and 2 thirds innings, giving up only 1 run, lowering his ERA to 2.89 on the season. Jose Quintana tossed 7 scoreless and had this dirty 78 mile an hour curveball. Brandon Woodruff had eight strikeouts in six innings, giving up only one run and four hits. Lance Lynn was dominant yesterday after several admittedly crappy outings. He had six strikeouts in six innings, giving up no runs. And of course, he pitched with emotion. Check this out as he K's the side and lets out the patented Lance Lynn K yell. You go, big fella. Garrett Cole had six strikeouts in six innings. He did give up four runs, three of them earned but had this 99 mile an hour fastball. And I love this K sequence. You can see how he pitches inside to open up the outside part of the plate. Pitching inside can prevent a hitter from diving to get your outside pitches. Here's a three pitch overlay of those outside pitches, the fastball slider and changeup from Cole. You can see what makes that a deadly combination. Cole also had this fantastic eye roll after failing to make a play. It's basically the same look I give as I mess up one of these voiceovers. Zach Wheeler had 6 Ks in 7 innings, giving up only 1 run, lowering his ERA to 2.78. And he was up against Marcus Stroman, who had 5 strikeouts in 5 innings, giving up only 1 run himself. He had these filthy sinkers and that slider that he gets a sword on. I also thought he was going to faint for a second as he got this call on a ball off the plate. Are K faints better than K struts? Kyle Wright had 8 Ks in 6 innings, giving up only 2 runs, thanks to his filthy curveball. Check out this 97 mile an hour fastball and 86 mile an hour curveball overlay. That isn't fair. Alex Wood had six strikeouts in four innings, but was outdueled by Julio Arias, who had six scoreless innings with five Ks and only two hits. Blake Snell had five strikeouts in five innings thanks to his curveball and fastball combo. He was up against Chris Bassett, who was absolutely brilliant. Bassett had 11 strikeouts in seven innings thanks to his filthy slow curveballs, which helped make his fastball look dominant. Here's an overlay of his fastball and curveball, and you can see what I mean. After seeing a slow curveball, that fastball really gets on you. And I love Bassett getting fired up after his 11th K. He was so good, they even turned him into a human bobblehead. Logan Gilbert had eight strikeouts in six innings, giving up only two runs, thanks to his fastball and curveball but he was outdueled by Justin Verlander. Talk about a fountain of youth. Verlander had nine strikeouts and in seven innings thanks to this knee-buckling curveball and, of course, his slider and fastball. Here's an overlay of his slider and fastball, and you can see what makes that a lethal combo. And speaking of lethal, look at these overpowering 99-mile-an-hour fastballs from Justin Verlander. He's 39 years old and threw four 99-mile-an-hour fastballs that inning. According to David Adler with MLB, Verlander and Billy Wagner are the only two 39-year-olds that hit 99 miles an hour in a game in the StatCast era. Except Verlander was doing this with his pitch count in the 90s. Ponce de Leon may have been looking for the fountain of youth, but Justin Verlander found it. The other most dominant outing of the day was from Brady Singer, who had 12 strikeouts in six innings, giving up only one earned run. He had these absolutely painted sinkers and filthy sliders. Just nasty stuff from Singer. Aside from Justin Verlander's outing, probably the most talked about outing of the day was Alec Manoa's outing. 
He had this sick 88 mile an hour change up, a nasty 93 mile an hour two seamer, but the real story was in the sixth inning as he was emptying the tank. The big man was really feeling himself. He K'd Cordero and told him to sit the down. And then he K'd Dahlbeck and let out a, let's go. It looks to me like Dahlbeck took offense to that and said, hey And then Manoa turned to him and said, hey sit the down. I do love my pitchers pitching with emotion, but was this uncalled for or did it show that Manoa had a little bit of dog in him? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Tanner Halk had this nasty sinker. Joe Kelly had his filthy curveball and changeup working, and I love this reaction to not getting this called strike. That reaction is so very Joe Kelly. Matt Brash had this UFO slider that had 3,125 RPMs. Sir Anthony Dominguez had these filthy sliders. Adrian Morihone caved the side with gas, but my filthiest relievers yesterday is a tie between Felix Bautista, who had these 101 and 102 mile an hour fastballs, and his knee buckling splitter. This is the second day in a row of him being my filthiest reliever, and he was tied with Ryan Helsley, who was just absolutely dominant. I mean, these fastballs look like they're shot out of a cannon, and then he had this wicked slider. Overpowering stuff. Before I get to my moment of zen, I wanted to give a shout out to Zachary Hazilius. I may be butchering that last name, but he left his strikeout K props in the comments. Really good call on the Logan Gilbert and Chris Bassett picks, and Kyle Wright almost got it for you too. And now, my Pitchy Ninja moment of zen. I have no idea what is going on here. What is up, Ninja Nation? Today's picks of the day, I'm going for a same game parlay. Both Carlos Carrasco and Joe Musgrove over five and a half Ks. Here's the current line. I'm looking forward to ending my weekend with a lot of Ks. Who would be your pick of the day?